Hi, I'm Lawrence Cornfield. Welcome to Building San Francisco. We have a special series, Stay Safe. We're looking at earthquake issues. And today we're going to be talking with a residential building owner about what residential building owners and tenants can and should do before earthquakes and after earthquakes. We're here at this wonderful SPUR exhibit at the SPUR Urban Center on Mission Street in San Francisco, and I have with me today my good friend George Orbelian. Thanks for joining me, George. You, and George uh, has for a long time owned residential property here in San Francisco, and we want to talk about uh, apartment buildings and what the owner's responsibilities might be and what they expect their tenants to do. And uh, let's start by talking a little bit about what owners can do before an earthquake and then maybe after an earthquake. Well, the first thing, Lawrence, would be to get together with your tenants and see if they have earthquake insurance or any renter's insurance in place, because that's going to be key to protecting them in the event of, an, uh, of a quake. And renter's insurance, so there are two kinds of insurance. Renter's insurance covers damage to goods and contents and so on, but earthquake insurance is a separate policy you get after you get renter's insurance. Correct. I know through the California Earthquake Authority, very inexpensive, and it, it helps owners and it helps tenants because it gives relocation costs and it pays their rent, right? This is a huge impact on building owners. It's huge, it really is, and you know, a lot of owners don't realize that you know, when there's an earthquake, their money flow is gonna stop. How are they going to pay their mortgages? How are they going to pay their, their other bills? And how are they going to live? Now, what else can uh, property owners do in residential rental housing before an earthquake? Well, the first thing you want to do is, is get your property assessed. Find out what the geology is at your site. Get an expert in to look at structural and non-structural losses. The structural losses, a lot of times, aren't going to be uh, that bad if you prepare. So an ounce of prevention is worth a pound a cure and get in there and, and get your property assessed and figure it out. So what is a non-structural issue that might cause losses? Well, the, you know, pipes, for instance. Pipes will whip around during an earthquake and if they're anchored in more numerous locations, that whipping won't cause a breakage that will cause a flood. I've heard f water damage is a major, major problem after earthquakes, actually. Yeah, it is. That, that's one of the big things. A lot of things falling over, ceilings collapsing. Uh, but all of this can be prevented by an expert coming in and assessing where are those problem areas. And often the, the fixes are really, really cheap. Who do you call when you want to have that kind of a assessment or evaluation done? The uh, structural engineering community is, mm -hmm. is great. We have mm -hmm. the Structural Engineers Association in Northern California right here in San Francisco. There are a wealth of uh, information and resources. And what, what kinds of things might you encourage tenants to do besides simply get tenants, renters insurance and earthquake insurance? What else do you think uh, tenants should do? Well, I think it's really important that they know if they happen to be in the building, where's the safest place for them to go when the shaking starts? If they're out of the building, what's their continuity plan for connecting with family? Uh, they should give their emergency contact information to their resident manager so that the resident manager knows how to get in touch. Um, and, and have emergency supplies on hand. The tenants should be responsible to have their extra water and flashlights and bandages and know how to use a toilet when, when there's no sewage and, and water flows down. And the owners of the building should be proactive in that regard as well. So George, thank you so much for joining us. That was really great. And thanks to Spur for hosting us here in this wonderful exhibit space they have. And thank you for joining us on Building San Francisco. Stay safe.